temperature already knows when you open a box of shrink wrap and you can almost always hear the wind start to pick up. So we want to have it all folded up and again that's another good reason to have the uh, perimeter band tight. Because now when we have the film on and we unfold it at the first time uh, we want to be able to tuck it and have the perimeter band actually hold the material on underneath it. Now as, we putting, or as we're putting the film on we want to have an extra six inches at the bow below the perimeter band and same thing at the stern. Ryan's cutting the film making sure he has enough to go over the lower unit. Next step is going to be to unfold it and again this is a center slit material that unfolds equally from the center to each side. And you can see how easily it does unfold and I was draping nicely uh -oh, I crossed it on the boat. Once Ryan has it unfolded he's going to tuck a little bit at the bow and at the stern and on along by the uh, near the windshield also just to make sure that it holds on. And we really don't need that much to uh, extra below the perimeter band to tuck under. You always want to make sure that the center of the material is on the center of the boat because it's disheartening when you cut off some when you're already short. So find a couple of pleats up near the bow. And then the next pleat will be near the windshield and then we'll have one at the transom corners also. Just tucking enough right now to hold the material on. And again, this is where a tight perimeter band is uh, necessary to make sure that the film does stay on until we have a chance to heat weld it with the heat tool. Even as it's getting tucked under the perimeter band, you can see it's beginning to look like a boat cover already. And you can see the nice slope that we have with our support structure. Ryan's finishing tucking along the sides and working towards the bow. And once we get to the bow, we have a, a special way of cutting out the excess material so that uh, you get a much neater and uh, more durable type of bow. And now, and Ryan just went by the windshield, and you can see that there's a, always a pleat near the uh, side of the windshield on, on all boats. And we just like to put the pleat towards the stern just as a standard type of uh, operation in case the boat will be towed anywhere. And uh, on this particular boat, we don't really have much of a, uh, a pleat as we get towards the bow. On some boats, you'll find that uh, there is a pleat. Now at the bow, there is always excess material. A lot of people just fold it over and try and heat weld it all together. But as you can see, the easiest way is to cut out the excess. 
So Orion just moved the film out a few inches f forward of the bow, followed the shape of the bow down, and now he just can tuck it in either direction, overlap it and tuck it. Ryan has the uh, entire uh, cover tucked under the perimeter band around the boat. Now it's time to use the heat tool to make a heat weld. So we're actually putting a hem in the cover where uh, he'll run the heat tool in a horizontal fashion, the uh, flame itself, right above the perimeter band. And uh, he's using the back of his hand to uh, pat the material and that fuses the pieces together so the perimeter band is actually sealed into the base of the cover. You only need a couple inches of uh, heat wall to actually make it work well. Now as you come to a pleat, you want to do the pleats at the same time as you're going around the boat. So when you're done going around, you're ready to, to begin shrinking the cover. So same thing, you can shoot heat into the pleats, pat it shut with uh, the back of your hand, making sure that you're wearing your glove. Again, the heat will be horizontal, just above the perimeter band. This is a beautiful use of the shrink wrap or the shrink fast heat tool. And it goes very quickly. This is why you only want a couple or three or four inches of material tucked in above the perimeter band. Brian's finishing up now. Both sides of the boat have been uh, shrink or heat welded around the perimeter band. So he's going back to the transom and uh, folding the film under and actually holding it up to uh, get a good heat weld and also be protecting the lower unit at the same time. Well, he's almost done on the uh, stern of the boat and once we are done at the stern we have one more major step to do before we can shrink the entire cover. So the hub area on the lower unit will be covered at the uh, and protected now using the uh, uh, the, the actual shrink wrap that is making the uh, initial cover. So Ryan is actually reaching up and holding the material around the band and heat welding. And then as he comes to the lower unit, he'll fold it over and uh, just tuck it basically to protect it and keep water from getting into the hub. Almost complete. The last step before we can actually shrink the entire cover is to put belly bands on. And the belly bands go from the perimeter band on the uh, side of the boat down under the boat if there's nothing to tie to, or in this case we can tie them to the trailer. And no matter how tight we have our perimeter band, when we put the heat to it with the heat gun and actually start shrinking the cover, you know, it has a natural tendency to pull a perimeter band up and then we don't get the shrink out of the wrap itself, it's just from pulling the band up. So the uh, belly bands are installed to hold the perimeter band where it initially was. We don't want to pull it too tight, but we want to keep the perimeter band in the same general area of where it was. And on a uh, power boat, we generally need about uh, a belly band every six to eight feet. Now on this boat, we're going to put one right by the windshield and also uh, closer to the back of the boat. Uh, we don't need anything in front of the windshield just because of the shape of the hull will hold the perimeter band down. On sailboats, you need more uh, belly bands only because of the shape of the hull. It doesn't uh, afford the perimeter band anything to attach to, so it has more of a tendency to rise. And this is the only time you actually have to use a... Uh, a jackknife or a regular bladed knife that's exposed to cut in a horizontal fashion right above the perimeter band. Uh, remember again to cut horizontally you never want to cut the perimeter band that's very unrewarding. And the uh, belly bands don't have to be extremely tight again just taut enough to hold the perimeter band uh, right where it was when we initially uh, installed it. And once these bands are on we can uh, start the shrinking process.